Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we've been discussing the sacraments of the Catholic Church, and so far we've talked about all of them, except one, the Sacrament of Extreme Unction, also known as the Anointing of the Sick. This time, why do we perform this sacrament? To start with, when we're in danger of dying from sickness, the anointing and prayer of the priest gives health to our soul, and sometimes to our body, through the anointing of the sick. This comforts the sick person in the pains of sickness, strengthens them against temptations, forgives venial sins, cleansing the soul from the increased desire to sin that comes from sinning, and sometimes, if God wills, it can even restore people to health. Also, if the dying person isn't able to confess and is sincerely sorry for his sins, extreme unction can even forgive mortal sins. We should be happy and eager to receive this sacrament as soon as our illness is sufficient to give us the privilege and honor to do so. Jesus instituted this sacrament, like all of them, and the apostles faithfully carried it on. For example, in the Bible, James tells the sick to receive this sacrament when he says, Is any man sick among you? Let him bring in the priests of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick man, and the Lord shall raise him up, and, if he be in sins, they shall be forgiven him. James 5, 14-15 Next time, what is obedience? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.